A state program, new fiscal agent, isn't paying workers on time. Money, some say they need to make ends meet. However, the Alabama Department of Senior Services admits there are issues, but is not trying to beat people out of their hard earned money. News 4's Michaela Simmons with the story of one woman who wants this problem solved sooner than later. Michaela. Angela Williams is heartbroken because a new fiscal agent the state agency now uses is behind on its provider payments to her. I know that I've been paid for two. Um, the problem is with this. Angela Williams is looking at the pay she receives, but thinking about the struggle to collect money she's owed. Payments from a new fiscal agent a state agency switched over to aren't rolling in these days, but she keeps seeing patient after patient after patient. Um, on the phone, six hours that Friday. Um, and then <laughs> getting paid for one person instead of four. William says it's hard to get by because this new fiscal agent is so slow to send her checks. Williams loves her job, which she has been in for the past two years. She finds comfort in giving care to four people and they find comfort with her. You know, she became a friend. I count on her for everything. If I need something, I can call and she will come here and help take care of it. The problem is there is a new payroll processor that hasn't figured out things with the old processor. William says it still owes her money. Here recently, as recent as December, um, I've been on the phone with Allied, the, um, the company that they just transferred from, um, five separate times about one of my people and my pay in December, and it's still not right. The Alabama Department of Senior Services tells me it is working with Acumen, the new payroll provider, and workers like Williams to expedite payments. The state agency apologized for delays and hopes to clean up the matter soon. Williams says she hopes the agency resolves the matter soon because she looks forward to going to work each day. Kinsley. Michaela Simmons, thank you for that report. Well, as